epic sunsets, romantic getaways and luxury hotels. These are probably the top reasons why people from all over the world flock to Santorini, regardless of the island's reputation as overcrowded and overly expensive. Yes, Santorini can be both. But we're here to show you what to do in Santorini, to enjoy it in the best possible way, while making sure you're not adding to the cataclysmic effects of mass tourism. Get ready to look past Santorini's glistening facade and discover the real island that lies beneath. An island that has a captivating soul and whose beauty cannot be expressed in words. One of the biggest mistakes people make when planning a trip to Santorini is that they don't allow enough time to fully appreciate everything that the island has to offer. Most travelers spend just a couple of days in Santorini. Even worse, some people do Santorini as a day trip from other Greek islands. Yet, such a short trip to Santorini can't do the island justice. Santorini may be small, but it's filled with treasures. To get a taste of the island's diversity and get to know its wonders, a minimum of four full days is required. Welcome to our four-day Santorini itinerary. We hope you enjoy the ride. Your first day in Santorini is ideal for an introduction to the island's history and spectacular nature. If there's one thing that has forged Santorini's fate throughout the centuries, it's the island's volcano. Thousands of years ago, Santorini witnessed one of the fiercest volcanic eruptions in recorded history. Ever since then, Santorini stopped being the round island that it was and acquired the crescent shape we all know today. Nowadays, the caldera created from that distant volcanic eruption defines Santorini's landscape. The view of the volcano from Fira is one of the most iconic views in Greece. However, apart from admiring the view of the volcano, one of the best things to do in Santorini is to take a trip to the volcano itself. You can reach Santorini's active yet dormant volcano on a boat trip that will also take you for a swim to the surreal hot springs. A walk along the rim of the volcano's crater amidst the lunar landscape of immeasurable beauty and a deep in brown sulfur-rich waters are things not to miss in Santorini. Some boat tours round off the day with a visit to nearby Thirasia or Thirasia, a rugged volcanic island that boasts breathtaking views of Santorini. You can find the link to one of the best volcano and Thirasia boat tours in the description below. Once you're back from your volcano boat tour, it's time to sample Santorini's exquisite wine at one of the island's wineries. One of the best among them is Santa Wines, near Pyrgos village. Santa Wines offers tours of the winery and superb wine tastings with jaw-dropping views of the caldera, especially at sunset. If you don't feel like visiting a winery, Continue your day by exploring Fira, the quaint capital of Santorini Island. In Fira, you will be amazed by the beautiful churches, among which the Greek church of Aios Minas and the Roman cathedral of St. John the Baptist stand out. After your stroll around Fira, indulge in a glass of wine or three at a bar with a view to enjoy the sunset before you enjoy a pleasant walk from Fira to Thirostefani as the night falls. Start your second day in Santorini with a visit to a lesser known yet utterly charming village. Emborio is our favorite village in Santorini because of its well-preserved castle and unique medieval architecture. 
walking around Emporio feels like stepping inside a fairy tale or a fantasy film. Then, if the weather allows it, make a stop in Perissa, one of Santorini's black sandy beaches, for a quick swim before you visit one of the most impressive archaeological sites in Greece. Otherwise known as the Pompeii of Greece, prehistoric Akrotiri was a thriving city until the 17th century BC when that fierce volcanic eruption buried it under tons of volcanic ash. Nowadays, the excavations have revealed a wondrous site that takes visitors on a fascinating journey into the past. It's best to visit Akrotiri on a guided tour to make the most of your experience. Have a look at the tours we're suggesting in the description below. It's now time to relax in style. Head to the otherworldly Lihada beach and set off on a sunset caldera cruise to admire Santorini's red and white beaches from the best vantage point, the water. If a cruise isn't your thing or if the weather is bad, you can head to a Crotiri lighthouse instead for one of the most memorable sunsets. On your third day in Santorini, we recommend visiting yet another amazing archaeological site. Built atop a dramatic mountain, ancient Thera dates back to the 8th century BC. This windswept archaeological site is home to many remnants of ancient Thera's glorious past, while it offers panoramic views of the Aegean Sea for as far as the eye can see. After wandering around ancient Thera, a well-deserved dip into the waters of Kamari Beach awaits if the weather allows it. Your next stop is whitewashed Pyrgos, the so-called prettiest village in Santorini. Pyrgos is built atop a hill dominated by a beautiful Venetian castle. Strolling around the narrow streets of Pyrgos is one of the best things to do in Santorini, as this village is not that affected by mass tourism, yet. For more scenic views, head to Profiti Silias Mountain, the highest point on the island. The best way to relax after a full day of sightseeing in Santorini is to watch a film under the stars in the oldest and most famous open-air cinema in Santorini, the legendary open-air cinema Camari. As we usually like to do, we save the best for last. What tops our list of the best things to do in Santorini is the 10km hike from Fira to Ia, one of the most scenic hiking trails in Greece. Walking along the edge of the impressive caldera, enjoying marvelous views at every turn, is an experience you don't want to miss. The hike, although long, isn't too strenuous and it offers the opportunity to visit Fira Piro Stefani, Imero Virli and Ia along the way. In Imero Virli, it's worth making a detour to climb Skaros Rock, a formerly thriving medieval town that's now reduced to ruins. Needless to say that hiking in Santorini means that you get to enjoy the most spectacular views of Santorini, the sea and the caldera. The hiking trail ends in Ia, offering you the opportunity to round off your day and your trip, admiring one of the world's most famous sunsets in one of the most picturesque towns in Greece. A former maritime superpower, Ia is a sight to behold with its unique cave dwellings carved in the volcanic rock and its grand captain's mansions. If you plan to hike the Firaia Trail, Make sure you visit Sandorini outside the hot summer months. All along the trail's 10 km there's no shade and hiking in the summer should be avoided at all costs. 
it's best to start the hike in Fira and end in Ia to avoid the route's steepest parts. If you're staying in Ia, take the bus to Fira early in the morning and start hiking. However, if the weather is too hot for a hike or if you're just not into hiking as much as we are, start your last day in Sanjarini with a stroll around Imerovigli and then spend the rest of the day exploring Ia and its surroundings, such as the quaint Amuvi Bay and the secluded Columbo Beach. The best time to visit Santorini is in the off-season. March, April, October and November are the best months to avoid the crowds and the excessive heat. There's nothing quite like the sensation of approaching Santorini by ferry. From a distance, Santorini looks like any other Greek island. However, the closer you get, the more you feel as though you're entering a timeless, spaceless zone a mythical world built on the ashes of an almighty volcano that breathes fire from the depths of the dramatically dark sea. It takes from 4 to 8 hours to get from Pireus Port in Athens to Santorini, depending on the ferry type. Santorini is also well connected to many other islands in the Aegean Sea. However, if you prefer to fly to Santorini, there are direct flights from Athens and many other cities in Europe and beyond. The best way to get around Santorini is to rent a car. Alternatively, you can get to various points of interest on the island by joining guided tours. When choosing your accommodation in Santorini, remember that staying in a cave hotel is a once-in-a-lifetime experience you don't want to miss. Most cave hotels are in Ia, but there are also some in Fira, Pyrgos and elsewhere. Don't forget that you can buy your ferry tickets, rent a car and book the best tours and hotels in Santorini by clicking on the links to the Traveler Resources section in the description below. It's no secret that Santorini is struggling because of the effects of mass tourism. Yet, this doesn't mean that you shouldn't visit Santorini. Far from that. To enjoy a trip to Santorini while being mindful of the island's well-being, there are a few things to keep in mind. First of all, don't go to Santorini during the high and peak seasons, but in the off-season, when the local economy needs you the most. Moreover, don't visit Santorini on a cruise, as cruise ship tourism is the worst kind of tourism for famous destinations like Santorini. When booking tours or accommodation in Santorini, Make sure you choose independent, locally-owned businesses. Nobody can argue that Santorini is one of the most photogenic islands in the world. That said, reserve from climbing on private rooftops and terraces to snap that perfect Instagram shot. Last but not least, don't ride the poor Santorini donkeys, as there are many other ways to get around on the island. For a more detailed version of our Santorini travel guide, visit www.itsalltriptome.com or find the link in the description below. If you'd like to get your hands on our 4-day Santorini itinerary in PDF form, you can download it alongside a useful map with all the points of interest on the island by clicking on the link in the description below. If you could visit just one Greek island in your entire life, this should be Santorini. This magic island made of volcanic ash, home to century-old vineyards and awe-inspiring prehistoric cities, may have glamour written all over it, but at its core it's yet another windswept island in the heart of the Aegean Sea that feels, tastes and looks as quintessentially Greek as possible. There's no questioning if Santorini is worth visiting or not. Santorini is the ultimate place to visit in Greece, a white-clad enchantress waiting to show you around her charms. If you enjoyed our video about what to do in Santorini in 4 days, please like, comment and share it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.